Now, here's a question I get a lot. Harley, do you think B12 injections make you leaner? Well, let's listen to what a few other people think. Uh, there's uh, something called B12 injections. Oh, boy. Have you heard about this? It sounds vaguely familiar, but I don't really know much about it. Now, B12 is a vitamin. Uh -huh. So it's supplement injections, right? All right. It already sounds like bullshit. Okay, but what it does, no, it's real because I found out that another person I know has been doing it, and she's lost a ridiculous amount of weight. Like, she's lost 30 pounds within, like, three months. So ten, oh, come on. No, it's awesome. So listen, um, <laughs> what it is, it, it, it's a supplement that speeds up your metabolism. Okay, so you mm -hmm. diet and you exercise and you have the supplement, you take it every three weeks. You go to like a doctor or something and they give you the injection every three weeks, right? Uh, amazing. I think I'm, I think I'm going to do it. Uh, B12 injections. Uh, it instantly sounded totally unbelievable. Uh, the more you talked about it though, and you said the magic word speeds up your metabolism, I was like, Maybe. Well, people take B t B12 <laughs> vitamins all the time. It's just you're taking a concentrated injection of it, and you take it every Oily three weeks. Oily stool or no? I d actually, I read about uh, side effects, and it's reported to have no side effects. Oh, and let's hear what other people have to say. This is a Fox News report. you got to love Fox. Are you looking to lose weight? Well, some dieters say that they have found the key to taking it off and keeping it off. And Fox 6's Christine Lazar joins us now live to explain, Christine. Well, Esther, it's not a diet pill and you don't have to go under the knife. We're talking tonight about vitamin B12 shots and they are gaining popularity as a way to lose weight and increase your energy. But do they really work or are they just another diet gimmick? I'm 43 years old and I weigh 135 pounds and I feel awesome. But two years ago, Donna Brady weighed 199 pounds. At five foot two, this mother of three was obese. I look at the picture sometimes now and I just cry because I think, why did I wait so long? I didn't know there was hope. Hope for Donna came in this little bottle. Several times a week, Donna gets a vitamin B12 shot at the doctor's health clinic in El Cajon. You just start having more energy and you feel better, and then the better you feel, the more weight you lose. We have probably 150 people coming in per day, sometimes more. 150 people a day? Wow, there must be a lot of vegans in that area. Or is B12 deficiency more common than we think? Susie Beeman manages several clinics throughout San Diego County, and she says B12 injections not only help you lose weight, they help you keep it off. B vitamins give you that inner balance that you need as far as um, helping you with metabolism. They help you to, to metabolize fats, carbohydrates, and proteins. You talk to some doctors, they say there's no scientific proof that B12 leads to weight loss. What do you say to that? I don't think that's true. I mean, look at me even without medical evidence linking B12 shots to weight loss. The doctors we spoke with say if they get you moving and they get you to the gym, that is what matters most. B12 advocates say the shots give them an added boost at the gym and the weight falls off faster. B12 is found naturally in meat products, eggs and fish. I see it happen every day. So whatever it is that's making it work, it works. Still, those who take the shots say there is no substitute, but they admit it isn't a magic potion. You can't have a Twinkie in the middle of the night, come in and get a shot and expect that weight to be gone. And B12 shots are prescribed by doctors for a rare form of anemia. If you do take that, if you do take them, doctors say there are no negative side effects. So whether they make you lose weight or not, they are not going to hurt you. So that's interesting. Uh, they said there's no side effects. Yeah, well, I've never had any side effects taking them, and I consider myself a very, very sensitive person. Why do I take B12 injection? Is it, is it to get leaner? Well, I'm only lean enough for my sport of running and cycling. So the reason why I take B12 injections is I come from a past health history of Crohn's disease, had Crohn's disease, digestive issues most of my life. And uh, after getting some tests of B12, I realized that I don't even produce enough intrinsic factor. So if I wasn't a vegan and no one hammered me about B12, where do you get your B12 from? And all that, I wouldn't even know what B12 really was. Now, I must admit that I did 
supplement B12 before I went vegan, just in a multivitamin, and I had a few cyclist friends recommend that I do B12 injections. Back that was back in '96, '97. So, but I was still pretty ignorant, you know. I thought it was like a B group complex or something like that. So I started taking B12 injections November 2000, November 2009, and uh, I can't honestly say I felt any different. Um, I was lean then. I'm lean now. But what I have noticed is some people on the internet claim that B12 injections aid them with weight loss. So um, I'm thinking, you know, there's not much side effects to them, or if any, and uh, B12 deficiency is very common in society today, as we see with a lot of university uh, studies. I've got some people might say, well, hey, why don't you just eat more animal products? And well, over 39% of the, the U.S. has a vitamin B12 deficiency symptom regarding their blood tests, meaning they have low B12 serum or elevated homocysteine or elevated urinary MMA, which is methylmalonic acid. So, you know, and I also have raw meat eater friends who eat copious amounts of raw meat and they all have vitamin B12 deficiencies on paper. This is not like, you know, subjective. This is objective pathological, you know, blood reports saying, hey, your B12 serum is very low. In Australia, we have a minimum cutoff of 150. In Japan, it's 550 using the same testing protocol. So you can have a B12 level of 300. In Australia and America, the doctors would say, you're great. You don't need supplementation. But in Japan, they'd be freaking out. They're going, right, you need to do B12 injections now. So my recommendation is get in touch with your local doctor. And if you're interested in doing injections, don't do them yourself unless you're a nurse or you know, unless you're really experienced. And get someone to help you do them. You know, definitely you know, seek your medical advice. You don't want to be uh, stabbing yourself in the eyeball with a, with a needle. Or you don't want to be recycling needles because you're into sustainability. <laughs> don't recycle needles. Now let's listen to let's look at Mark Sisson's website. Now Mark Sisson, he's a strong, staunch, anti-vegan. Says you won't get enough B12 as a vegan. But he sells a $129 uh, damage control master formula for his people on his you know, meat-based diet. And in that damage control formula, we have vitamin B12 as methylcobalamin. And we have 600 micrograms. We have 10,000% of the daily intake in Mark Sisson's little supplement there. And he says you can't be a vegan because you won't get enough B12. So quite interesting. Quite interesting. What else do we have to show you? So supplement or not, that's a personal choice. For me, the reason why I supplement, again, past health history. Two, I'm an elite athlete. I do a crap load of training, probably a little bit unnatural levels of training sometimes, like you know, running marathons and ultra marathons and 24-hour mountain bike races. 24-hour mountain bike races, they're definitely not natural, but I enjoy them. And I'm not going to stop doing them because I find they're a great emotional and physical challenge. I also drink chlorinated water when I travel the world. I travel on planes, and I'm not sure about if you know, but when you go on an international plane these days, they spray that fumigation down the corridors. So you're breathing that in for a few hours. That's going to deplete your B12 stores for sure, because B12 is actually a bacteria in the human body. And stress, stress definitely saps your B12. So if you've had any family or work or society pressures or you know, exams or whatever, uh, relationship issues, then definitely your B12 is going to get sapped. So I deal with a lot of, uh, you know, personal issues and other people. So I've taken a lot on my shoulders, and I'm happy to do that. But I understand that that can definitely deplete my B12 levels. So I take a supplement. I do a 1,000 microgram injection every month or so. But recently I didn't do one for four months, so I just didn't get around to it, and I had no problems. How much to take? Work with your doctor on that one. Read some books. A good book to read is called Could It Be B12 by Sally Patchelot, and. Uh, What's the best B12 to take? Cyanocobalamin, methylcobalamin, or hydroxycobalamin? The, the, the census is that methylcobalamin and hydroxycobalamin are better than cyanocobalamin. So do your homework on that one again. So, you know, if, if you, this didn't make sense to you, just press rewind and listen to this uh, video again. Because you know, that could be the missing link in your health journey. Because a lot of people go vegan because they had health issues. That is me. I had definitely digestive issues. I was in a lot of pain. So I went vegan, and I'm bringing my past health issues into my vegan lifestyle. So any deficiencies that show up, like the B12 or something like that, 
people want their quick to judge, oh, that's because you're a vegan. So actually, no, it's not. It's because I come from a bad health history of digestion. Crohn's disease, we know, the food depletes your B12 levels, definitely. Celiacs, things like that. I had a lot of appendicitis as a child, things. You know, intrinsic factor. I'm lacking intrinsic factor. So grateful that I had some blood tests. So not all medicine is bad. You know, most of it is less than the best, but definitely there's some medical procedures that save lives. You know, so do your own homework. You know what I mean? Do your own homework. So does that make sense? So, you know, my raw meat eater friends that do beat that do a lot of animal products, people would assume they have high B12 levels, but every single one of them, I can count, I can count six off the top of my head, they all have low B12 serum levels when they're checked. So. It's not as simple as just eating more animal products because if that was the case then we wouldn't see rampant B12 deficiency in society today and we do. We see B12 deficiency in cats, rats, dogs, tigers, sharks that are in captivity. We see that. Ask your local vet if you don't believe me and uh, see where we got one. So check, out, so check out this website. This is for uh, vets. We're vets because we love pets. <laughs> I think if you love animals you don't eat them but anyway. So, we have cyanocobalamin in injectable, which is B12. So we have vitamin B12 for pets. What is cyanocobalamin? It's a B12, injectable form of B12. You know, so uh, again, all this, all this notion that vegans, you know, I've heard people say, you can't eat a vegan diet, like Daniel Vitale said recently, you can't eat a vegan diet because you'll be deficient in B vitamin B12. Daniel forgets that v B12 deficiency is rampant in society. It's in our pets even. It's in our freaking meat-eating pets. <laughs> So when people say that you can't be vegan because you'll be B12 deficient, it exposes their absolute ignorance or absolute prejudice against vegans, whatever it's going to be. You know, saying that vegans only have B12 deficiencies is like saying you can't ride a bike to work because cyclists have accidents. You've got to drive a car instead. Car drivers don't have accidents. Meat eaters don't have B12 deficiency. Yes, they do. Science proves it. Look it up on the internet. You know, thank God for Google. You can help, uh, you know, banish the bullshit and read some medical journals. So, thanks for watching. I hope that's answered your questions. If it hasn't, let me know and we'll do video number two. Peace.